Wildlife Coordinator for the Magnoni Private Game Reserve. So, sort of what you can expect today, um, the helicopter is going to take off, uh, Mike's going to get a dart in the run. It'll take about five to six minutes for the drugs to take effect. We're going to be taking horn, blood, tissue and hair samples. And we're going to be measuring horns, checking microchips, and notching if, if there's a calf involved. Hi, I'm Dr. Mike Toft. I'm a wildlife veterinarian and I work in the Zidaland area. It may look horrific, and it is. You know, who takes a chainsaw to any animals, any bit, uh, to remove it? Um, without wondering whether it's not a little barbaric. It is the most effective way of doing dehorning. We've tried hand saws, we've tried reciprocating saws, we've tried many different things to cut off horns. We've come back to the chainsaw as the most effective. It's quick, it generates the least amount of heat, and it gets the job done um, very effectively. You'll see that when I've finished doing the horn with a chainsaw, um, we will use a hoof trimmer, which is a, a, an angle grinder with a hoof disc on it, and we'll round off that horn so that it has no sharp edges, and leaving it as least likely to crack as possible. Sadly, by the end of 2014, we'd lost seven rhino to poaching. Um, 2015, we lost six. Um, 2016, we realized that something had to give, and we started dehorning our rhino. Um, by the end of 2016, we'd only lost two rhino, so a massive, massive decrease. Um, 2017, we lost one rhino. 2018, we were rhino poaching free, and touch wood, we are still rhino poaching free this year.